Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it! Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. What's going on, guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer, and this is L.A. Noir, Part 13. And we're in advice now. Yippee! If you thought the last partner was an asshole, nice then car, Roy. you're in for a treat. Issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a gnash if you're in vice cold. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Any in the vicinity officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue. Unit to handle code 2 identify. I like this car a lot more than the other two. It's much more... I don't know. It's much faster and it has way better handling. I think those are the two uh, key Who in God's name things, you know? That hovel? People... They really picked a prize shithole for our first date. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. It's up the stairs, detectives. Round the corner, last door on the left. Yes, sir. I forgot this the, uh, that this case started off at night. Not many cases start off at night. I think actually, so maybe only like on, one man? or two in total. Your show now. No more I consider it. Is it the final one? Yeah, I guess so. Carruthers. Phelps, I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same surettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? Carruthers, keeping it real. I gotta change this outfit, though. He looks like a total douchebag. Uh, we already did the sharpshooter. Golden Boy was traffic. Outsiders for later. So I, I meh. The Broderick does. It, look, I still look like a twat with the Broderick, but 
I don't know. This one just annoys me. Like, the tie just doesn't fucking work with that, with the suit. Just overall, it's just poor matching with the uh, colors. This one, I still look like a douchebag, but I, I don't know. I just feel like less of a douchebag. You know? The lesser of two evils. These clowns lived on popcorn? <coughs> Excuse me. Eaters. It's all over the floor. Small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Sure. Let's go with that. Tyrone Lamont. Not even 23 years old. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. Yes, I do. Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Hmm. I wonder what. Perhaps those things? And, drifted off. Anything interesting? and I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. What else do we got? A fruit, a bell, and wind. Strange doodle. I think that music is something else that I can use. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. Never the same, are they? And yeah, I think that the popcorn shouldn't be in. Well, it might. Another special order from the Caesar. There might be something different on the bottom, no? I was thinking in one of these you could probably find, uh... One that wasn't taken off. You know, it still had the thing at the bottom. You know, the thing that was supposedly taped to it. is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. What else do we got? Looks like it was always going to end this way. He's got really bad track marks. Never the same, are they? They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. You hope he was a good person that died? Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? I think I've seen it all. Seems rather cryptic. I didn't check the other hand, actually. You never know, there might be something. Nope. Alright. I don't know, there's something interesting about Vice. I still argue that Homicide is definitely my favorite desk to work in, but, uh, you know, Vice has some interesting parts about it. It's kind of the, the, the you know, peak of Cole's uh, career, I'd say. No, god damn it. I'm gonna I'm just kinda gonna have to assume that we're pretty much done with the whole you know, there there's nothing gonna be on on the bottom of any of these uh popcorn cups. Alright, this is pointless. Is there anything else? I feel like there's probably like one thing, one or two things that are left. What do we got? All right, let's check this one just in case. You never know. Heavy for an empty cup. <gasps> what do you know? They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. I'm guessing that's all there is then. They've been dead at least a day. Let me get them back. Yes, sir. All right, well, let's go across the street then. Seeing as that is the most likely uh, next destination. Yep. Black Caesar Food Hut. Or if you're playing Fallout Kaisar. Why the fuck did they refer to him as Kaisar, by the way? Like, they seemed very, like, or at least the leader seemed very heavily knowledgeable 
of uh, you know literature and stuff like that. Right. You would think you'd know how to pronounce Let's it. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the death. Hand of... over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. But he's black. He can run fast. See, he's already, like, really far. Stay on him. Don't hit me. You little dick. You gonna try to kick me? <laughs> I love the music playing in the background. Because this is black people music. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going, you little fucker? Come on. No, uh, no, no. Oh, shit. I thought he was going to try to clothesline me. Shit. He's going to try to do it here, so fuck that. I'm going to walk gingerly to this location. Eddie, help me out, man. They're trying to kill me. You got to help me out. What the hell going on here? Morgan! Not you? You picked the wrong cop, you fucking animals. I'm gonna fuck your shit up. How about that? Oh, you're back up, are you? Motherfucker. I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> this isn't gonna end well for you, friend. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Roy or Roy Earl is a just a dick. He's a real dick. Seemed like it was about to zoom on something. What's that? These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Ugh, Fleetwood. He must have been a mistake. You don't Should name a kid you like Fleetwood. You don't name a kid you like Fleetwood. That's just... That's just... Ugh. Circumstantial. Morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. You would think they would be smarter about where they keep that shit. Just like right in the box. It's just. You deserve to be caught. You're fucking dumb. That doesn't matter. Is there something I missed? Maybe. Oh, okay. I gotta flip it. Jermaine Jones. Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. That's that cop. All right, I think that's it. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. And that's the hint. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell, I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black eyed peas. Well, we saw the morphine in the box, so bullshit. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? 
flipping burgers, and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now, I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We have an address on the slips. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now, you got to help me some. Fleetwood, I'm going to speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. But you're going to help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. He said he's been cooperative. Bullshit. He's been one of the least cooperative people I've come across. Very few people have actually tried to get into a fist fight with me in this game. He's one of them. Fuck you with your cooperation. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, so I guess the Jones booking agency is next. Or maybe not. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Jones Booking Agency. Is he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Shut up. He wants a five star goddamn win. I said shut up. God. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Ooh. All units in the vicinity I was hot central good. Unit. Citizen reports a 415 Who? at 7th and Central. Unit Marlon Hopkins. Your informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh, right. Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl, Roy. As long as Hollywood exists, it's gonna be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Marlon was small time. You caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. Judging from that whole little, uh, German girl remark, Perhaps, uh, Phelps isn't so perfect. Just saying. So I'm noticing, <laughs> it was kind of funny to me. Uh, it had been like, I'd say two months since the last time I had posted a Would You Rather video. And, uh, people really gravitated to that video pretty quickly. Um, got a decent amount of views, uh, within the first couple of hours. Uh, but was, what was kind of amusing to me was that it got like two dislikes in the first, uh, I'd say first hour, and uh, what I notice is that like people are constantly constantly clamoring for me to be more offensive all the time, and I think people misconstrue offensive with stupid, but um, so I, I'm more offensive in those would you rather videos, and people get pissy, so it's like I don't know. It, it seems as though I can't really win in these circumstances either. Da it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. But, uh, I enjoy making those videos, so the people that are bitching, fuck off. I'm gonna continue making them, because they're fun. Suck my dick.
Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Oh. 238. Jermaine Jones, 238. All right. Where is 238? Oh, right here. Move out of my way, Earl. Hey, who let you in? I did. Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now, you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. <laughs> you carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. Okay. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Huh? Scott Phantom? Fine radio. Shortwave, AM and FM. My father has a Scott. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. No, you don't. You're black. Alright. Uh, I remember one of them. No, not number slip. One of the notes, yes, radio station note, that's what it was. It was 275 FM. Okay, so first we switch to FM. Turn it on, of course. Alright, so... There we go. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brennan! Wilt! Get over here! Take these assholes apart. You heard the boss. This doesn't work. Like, ever. This is the best you got? The mugs are dope to the eyeballs. Oh, shit! That fucker's got some pop to his, to his step. Come on, beat these sons of bitches down! This. Hate crime. Are you too good for any? Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace. There might be... Well, is there other stuff? Oh, okay, we got the weed. Too much for felony possession. Lamont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone and Cornell are dead? They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. You offering me a deal. I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're 110. Imagine the changes you'll see. I get the message. How much is this going to cost me? Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein. Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. <laughs> I like that word dipshit. <laughs> it always amuses me. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. 
Oh yeah, the distributor. I remember that actually. You're lying to me, Jones. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Fleetwood Morgan will testify that you and Merlin are expanding out of illegal gambling and into drugs. Okay. So I buy from a cat goes by the name of Merlinati. Merlin runs the lottery for the Jew boy. The Fink has a new line in drugs. You squeal me out, I deny ever telling you. Tell us about Adi. Adi's a gambler. Fronts points on football games, fights, the horses, numbers. Chicken crossing the road. Motherfucker will take the odds on anything. Oh, okay. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. Alright, so we got that now. Is there anything else? Something I've missed? No? Alright, I'm thinking that's it. Is there anything else you need to talk to him about? Oh, okay. What's the score with Ramez removals? I brought a radio from there. That's all. He's got a decent poker face, but that last little bit gets me suspicious. Yeah, I'm gonna go doubt. So when we visit Rama's removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're gonna be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you too. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. All right, after all that convoluted bullshit, now I can, uh, move on to the next bit. Why are you smiling? Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address for Ramez removals. That's Ramez. R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Thank you. I'm gonna hold off on Ramez removals and check out the whole thing with uh, the numbers operation, which is where uh, Merlin Audi is. God damn it! That's that cop. Looks like a decent guy. So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army surplus warfare. They are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the evidence. Excuse me. I don't think I can open that. So let's just check up upstairs. Check out upstairs, I mean. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. The name's Marilyn Oni. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? 
And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you. I pay my kick to the Watts, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. Stupid. Give me that cane. I want that cane. Dick. Cohen took over the wire service from Siegel, right? That would be a Bugsy Siegel. If you uh, have seen anything from Mob City, you know who that is, relatively. Also, he was his character was also briefly in uh, Boardwalk Empire back in the twenties. Get out of my way! Move! I remember this. What was it? Uh, let's see. Numbers racket, maybe? No. Strange Doodle. Cherry Bell Win. So that's what I need. Nope. Hold that one. God damn it. No. Hold. Just need win now. Yeah. More morphine. With this quantity, we're looking at a high-level trafficking charge. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. I think Ramez's place is our next stop. Oh, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better stop God talking. damn it. Get after him, Phelps. Duh, up, why, why doesn't anybody ever, like anybody else, like ever do the running? Why is it always me? Like, it makes sense for Rusty. He's a fat ass, but the other two are young guys. This is bullshit. Isn't Phelps getting tired? Two club sandwiches. You just knock that guy over. You're an asshole. Hurry, you can still catch him. Stop right there, Audie, or I will shoot. There he is. Uh, evidently, you won't because I'm trying to pull out the gun and he won't let me. Asshole. Jesus Christ, this guy runs fast. This is taking too long. <laughs> You. Real tough. Get out of my way. Give him one for me, detective. <laughs> Motherfucker. Somebody run him over. <laughs> all right, all right, relax, motherfucker. You got me. Nice wand, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy. But don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. What's in there? Adi has Jose Ramez in his pocket. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. I don't know why you would keep that in there. Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going nowhere. I paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. 
We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Finkelstein identified. You distribute for Lenny Finkelstein. You're a patsy for those gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. I distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Jermaine Jones gave you up as a supplier. He says that you're Lenny's sissy, and that you'll do whatever Lenny tells you. Me? That nigga's a dead man. I moved the dope Jose brings me. Jose Ramirez, I ran a clean numbers racket until those two motherfuckers went into the dope business. Ramirez seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and ship dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. You're not the guy we want, Merlin. But we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you, and fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. <laughs> that sounded like the most defeated police officer ever. Yes, sir. All right, Ramez removals, I assume. No, not clues. Mickey Cohen runs the dope rackets. Mickey does what he's told. Benny Siegel will take a cut of any action. I thought Jack Dragna was this. Dragna's an old-time greaser. He keeps his head down and pays his dues. Word is he's gonna clip Bugsy. Whose word? What does it matter? One lowlife killing another lowlife makes our job easier. LAPD, we're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a <laughs> GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. Where do you think you're going? Uh-uh, bitch. Here comes the cavalry. What does this lunatic think he's doing? Oh, fuck your shit up. Playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Whoa. Dick. I'm on your side. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Take his tires out. Get Hurry up. Close and steer him off the tar. Are you trying to cut me in half? Just fucking shoot, Earl. And stop criticizing. It's going around. in circles. Go Fuck you. Dick. Can I shoot him? No? Alright, fine. Hands behind your head! Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. 
I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're gonna take a look around inside. I believe there's a decent amount of clues in this area. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? I'm already seeing Polar, by, uh, Polar Bear Ice Company quite a few times. I guess that's not enough. Oh, okay. Polar Bear. Ice Company. Merlinati. Yep. Melinati is buying a lot of furniture. Why is Ramez buying so much ice? Nope, oh, here's a newspaper. You think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. We're we gonna fight, kid? The two of you versus my boys here? I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, he looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you in Infilate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of steak? It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now. So don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea, muscle kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He killed six Japs hand to hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. Things are starting to heat up. Is that it? Looks like it. What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? I don't know. I'm not psychic. There must be a way through the back. Looks like this uh, case is going to be rather long. Well, I know that there's at least another... Village. Where taste comes to die. I know there's at least another little bit left here to uh, do, so I'm suspecting this will be an hour-long case. My mother would be in heaven. 
All right, where does this fucking water lead? I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. Huh. Smells of old people in here. Ah, here we are. I think we're getting close. This ah. is useless. I can't see a damn thing. I found a ladder. Get up onto the floor above. Damn, this is a fucking big ass ladder. No, no, don't do that. It's a big light over there. I assume I have to do something with it. Seems like there's a door over there. I think I just found my way. Nope. Never mind. I'll drop that right there, and then I'll pick up the other one. This is incredibly slow. All right, now. Now we have an opening. All right. Uh, I don't think this is where I want to go. Fuck it, just go back down the ladder. I've been watching uh, this show recently called uh, Kenny vs. Spenny, uh, because I've been watching, uh, on top of that, I've been watching a lot of this channel called YMS, uh, also known as Your Movie Sucks, uh, dot org. We know where the water's coming from. You're gonna want to see this. And he recommended Kenny vs. Spenny, which I'd come across every once in a while, but that show is fucking hilarious. I gotta say, I I mean, I, I don't want to give way too much away, but it's a damn good show. I really recommend it. There's something frozen inside. Very humorous. Like, it's very, like, offensive sort of humor, which is, you know, right up my alley. Yeah! Well, I'll be damned. This must be how they transport the morphine. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. Stupid motherfucker. I don't know where he went. Shit. Clear me some space here. Oh, fucking shit. Jesus. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Ha ha ha. CSI Miami, motherfuckers. Is that serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind him and let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize Hop Phelps. It looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. 
A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? Yeah, you're speaking crazy talk, Phelps. But yeah, the, that uh, Kenny vs. Spenny show, it's basically like, uh, the idea of it is Kenny Hotz, who's a uh, former contributing writer to South Park, and uh, Spencer Rice, I think, they, they do these competitions every single week. Um, and, you know, there's like, who can produce the most sperm, uh, who can lose the most weight, who can eat the most meat. And uh, Kenny tends to cheat pretty much every single time. And uh, Spencer kind of just loses his shit every single time it happens. I don't know, the dynamic between the two is just fucking hilarious. And uh, regardless, oh, there was one uh, who can piss off the most people. And uh, what Kenny basically did is he just took his van and just parked it in the middle of, like, an intersection in, in uh, rush hour traffic and just left it. Fucking hilarious. Factory is closed. It's been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. That's the uh, guy who was talking to whatever the fuck his name was. I can't remember. Uh, guy with the, we saw him in the news the newspaper bit. Uh, green jacket. Can't remember his name. Do you think you can hold out? Eyes open. Courtney. Courtney Sheldon. What the hell is the matter? Can someone please just kill these assholes already? Give me some goddamn cover. There he is. Blast him. You do that. Stay down. I ain't running out of I'm wide open here. God damn it. Find some cover! He's pretty brave for a dead man. Shit. <laughs> Shot you in the head. Stay in cover! So I think both of them are upstairs now. Clear me some space here! Oh shit. Stay in cover! No, you fuck. Give me some goddamn cover. Uh, Earl just died for a second. That was odd. He's okay now, though. It's like Fable. You just revive after dying. It's no big deal. No consequence. Oh, fuck. Keep moving. You shot my hat off, you cunt. I like that hat. God damn it. Well, there we go. I'm thinking I'm going to have to actually go up there. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up. Sure. Then what? Cop the peddling the dope. Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? Soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. So it comes down Dumbass. Let's have a look around. Now that we finally got some peace and quiet. I want his shotgun. Damn it. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. 
As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine.